Hi, today I'm going to show you how to multiply any number, so decimal, decimal numbers and whole numbers, by 100 using the column method. So the thing you need to remember then is if you divide it by 100, you move the digits two places to the right on your columns. So let's have a look at our examples here. So example 1 then we've got 5.9 divided by 100. So I've already drawn out the columns here, so we just need to write 5.9 into the correct columns. So we have 5 units and we have 9 tenths. So if we divide it by 100 then, we move the digits 2 places to the right. So the 9 will go 1, 2, so drop the 9 into the thousandths column. Uh, move the 5 2 places to the right, 1, 2, so that would be in the hundredths column. The decimal point won't move, and you then need to fill in the gaps between the decimal point and your numbers with a 0. So that's just one gap to fill in. So our final answer is 0 0.059, and you should really always put a 0 before the decimal point as well. Let me just write this down off the column, so it's 0 0.059. So let's have a look at example 2. So this time we've got 85 divided by 100. So this time we're dividing a whole number by 100. So again we put the numbers in the correct column, so we have 5 units and 8 tens this time. So again we divide by 100 to move the digits 2 places to the right. So let's move the 5 first of all, so 1, 2, so the 5 goes in the hundredths column, move the 8 next, 1, 2, so put the 8 in the tenths column. The decimal point doesn't move, so we haven't got any gaps now between the decimal point and the numbers, so we don't have to fill in any zeros, but we just need to put a zero before the decimal point. So my final answer is 0.8. Eight, five. Thanks for watching.